What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Adam Boys, who is my man. I didn't know a lot about Adam Boys until this story actually broke. Uh, and for the guys out there who are big into the PlayStation ecosystem, you know Adam Boys from the 2013 uh, E3 press conference. He became very popular when he and Shuhei Yoshida made this. This is how you share your games on PS4. Thanks. So, uh, yeah, he's the guy who <laughs> was uh, in that skit, basically smearing Microsoft and Xbox, uh, telling PlayStation gamers that, that this is how you share PlayStation uh, games on PlayStation 4. It was a huge hit, very successful for PlayStation, and that was when Adam Boys became known to me in the PlayStation ecosystem. Since then, he's popped up from place to place, has been a fairly prevalent, positive uh, uh, energy in the PlayStation community. Uh, and I didn't know until now, you know, this guy's background is history. But uh, he's been in the video game ecosystem for a very long time, and it didn't just start with Sony. He actually started off with EA, Electronic Arts, as a tester way back in the day. He would test video games. Then he later moved on to Midway, Midway Games, and uh, he executive produced the MLB Slugfest Loaded Game and the NHL Hits Pro Titles. He also went on to work uh, on Blitz the League. So he has a pretty successful background when it comes to at least working in the sports games arena with Midway. It becomes kind of a staple for the PlayStation community when we see people go on that stage, Jack Trenton, Shuhei Yoshida, Adam Boys, these guys, when you see them, you feel like they're a part of the PlayStation family and it's always sad to see them go. But sometimes a person's dreams are not the dreams that you have for them. Meaning, what we may consider success for Adam Boys might not be what he aspires to be. To me, I would love to work at PlayStation. I would think it would be the best job ever to work at PlayStation or even Microsoft, uh, working with the Xbox. I think that uh, that kind of work, you know, especially doing executive production, uh, anything as far as the upper echelons of the inner working teams of PlayStation and Xbox would be an awesome job to have. Um, and to me, that would be ultimate success. But some people have real dreams, hopes, goals, and missions in life that may center around that arena, but might not fall directly into that seat. And with that, I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation Vice President Adam Boyd's Departs announces return to game development. Sony Computer Entertainment America executive Adam Boys announced that he is departing the company after spending the last four years as PlayStation Brand's Vice President of Publishing and Developer Relations. Boys expressed a desire to return to the world of game development as part of his departure, noting that he's going to make games again on the independent side. Boys worked within multiple PlayStation divisions during his tenure, including publisher relations, developer relations, portfolio strategy, financial strategy, partner alliance, and third-party production. Sony has not yet announced how it intends to fill Boy's position at the company. Serving as a public face for Sony's PlayStation brand in recent years, Boy's announced major upcoming releases and initiatives at the Electronic Entertainment Expo and other events. Notably, Boy starred alongside Worldwide Studios president Shuhei Yoshida in a widely shared video, poking fun at Microsoft's presumptive plans to hobble the used games market prior to the launch of the Xbox One. Microsoft backtracked its plans shortly afterward, abandoning many promised features of its current-gen console. In addition to tracking behind-the-scenes publishing initiatives, Boys spent the last several years promoting Sony's upcoming PlayStation VR headset. The PlayStation VR headset will arrive in retail in North America this October alongside multiple launch titles, including Batman Arkham VR, Riggs Mechanized Combat League, E Valkyrie, Res Infinite, and Eagle Flight. Boys is PlayStation brand's second major departure over the last week, following up a similar announcement from senior product evaluator and lead account manager Nick Sutner. Sutner announced his decision to leave after a seven year stint with Sony, noting in his farewell message that he's, quote, off to new adventures, end quote. Previously, Sutner worked to promote independent games and development studios as a PlayStation brand's self-appointed, quote, indie game champion, end quote. So, boys, I always trust my gut. You guys know i got a pretty big gut. Um, this guy has always had a very, very positive feel about 
you know, whenever you see him on, on stage, whenever he's talking, you can tell he's passionate about gaming. You can tell he loves what he does. Obviously, he's very focused on the relations aspect of what Sony was all about. He'd get out there and be the face and, and talk to the people. And I think that was probably the greatest thing that he could have done for the PlayStation community. Uh, will he better fare out there uh, making indie games? Possibly. Who knows? That's the beauty of indie games. They're going. They make things that nobody else has ever thought of. It's always something unique. For the most part, they think outside of the box. They get funding from other places, and many, many times they blow our minds with the creativity of the indie scene. I'd like to wish Adam Boys a ton of success. Uh, I'd like to thank him for the contributions he's made to the PlayStation community and to gaming as a whole. Now, Midway died many, many years ago. You guys remember Midway, uh, but he obviously has been doing this for a long time. And for him, his success and what he's dreaming of and obviously what he really wants to do with his career is get back behind the, the, the seat of the creative role versus being out there doing public relations for PlayStation and talking about what's coming and getting people excited. It seems he'd rather get people excited by what he wants to make. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Would you rather be over publisher relations or developer relations, portfolio strategy like Adam was? Or do you think that if you got into that role, it would become stale after a while and you would probably prefer to get behind the seat and start creating games? Personally, I love to make video games. I think I'm a pretty, uh, I think I have a pretty grand imagination and there's some really awesome stuff that I see in my mind's eye or whatever, but I have not yet been able to uh, translate that into anything playable at this point. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Farewell to Adam Boys. Good luck to you, man. Hopefully we'll see some of your indie games in the, in the coming years on PlayStation and Xbox and Android, wherever you want to go. The sky's the limit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take a look.